So he's gonna keep both feet on the floor, right? And now he's gonna escape the hips. Uh, it's really important to know this move. So John does your turn towards me here, and then he's gonna escape his butt to that side. Turn to me, John, and then escape his hips, and then go to the other side. Go back, square back up, and now lift your hips up, and then turn your butt towards me. Go back again. All right, so this is the move, okay? Turn the other side, John. So you're gonna do escape, and then go back again. He's gonna do escape, and then go back again, all right? So now look, you know, John, so I'll teach you how to do this, okay? And why we're doing this, okay? So first, let's learn the move itself, okay? So I'll be here, feet on the floor, right? So I'll turn one side. Notice that I have only my left side on the floor. My right side is off the mat. So I'll take my hip off the mat. Because if I slide my hip on the mat, it can drag like the mat like this and then it'll be super heavy. So you want to be fast and light. So you go with your weight on your shoulder here. Keep your hands tied together, close to your, to your neck. Don't grab your collars, okay? Just here. Now you escape, but at the same time you escape, you're gonna push and kind of like you're touching your hand towards your, uh, you bring your hand towards your foot, your feet, like this, and then you go back. Turn to the other side, one, two, and then go back. Notice that I have a line here, okay? The line of the mat, right? I wanna lift, and I wanna jump with my butt only over the line. And then I go back again with my butt to the other side of the line. So I go one, two, go back. One, two, go back. One thing that people do and they commit like the mistake doing that is they close their knees together like this. Okay, don't do that, okay? So you want to keep your knees apart of each other. Doesn't need to be like wide open, but just here so you can feel comfortable. You turn and skate back. And you're gonna learn why you're doing this. 